Hey guys, I'm here at Marutoshi Goldfish and Koi Farm. You can check out some of these beautiful kois. These are really large size. You can see the net over there. That's a huge net. I think I could fit in there. And if you check out over this side, you see a whole bunch of goldfish. These here are Ranchu goldfish. And you can see there's a lot more over here. Look at those goldfish. There's some over there as well. These are all ranchus, by the way. And then over here we have some different types of goldfish. I'm not so sure what this is called. Um, it might be a wakin, wakin goldfish. You can see here's a few larger ones. These are really beautiful. I love the colors on these. Check that out. These are the larger ones of these. Aren't they beautiful? And down below you have some orange ones over there as well. And then you check this out. Some different colors. And then there's some more ranches over here. And it's nice how each section has their own net, so you don't cross-contaminate or anything like that. Over here you see some really nice looking bubble eye goldfish. And then, let's go and take a look over at this side. You can see some floating plants here. And then you have a whole bunch of goldfish inside of aquariums. Take a look at some of the colors. Some of these colors are amazing. Look at this. So I, I don't know much about goldfish, so I don't know all their names. So if you guys know any of these, definitely comment down below. All I know are red cap orandas. I know Ryukins, Ranchus. These are nice. Look at these. Look at the colors in this tank whole bunch of red and white. Looks really neat. And the water here is really clean as well. You don't see any unhealthy goldfish in these tanks. So that's a really good sign. Usually when I visit goldfish stores, um, I, I see a lot of unhealthy ones. Ones that are floating upside down and some that are dying. But here, they all look really healthy. So we just took a look over there. That's where the goldfish are. And now let's take a look over here. Over here, there are a lot of koi. You can see a whole bunch of koi in these little ponds. I think they're made of concrete, concrete ponds. You can see here as well. Take a look over there. There's some really nice koi in there. You can see all the colors, just looks amazing. And they're really active too. You can see small ones, medium sized ones, and some large ones as well. They look really good. I can kind of see the bottom of the pond. It looks like it's made out of tiles or something like that. Oh, there's some ranchers in this little tub here. Nice orange ranchers. Oh, did you see that? There's a really small guy in there. Alright, let's take a look around. So here as well, there's some nice ones. You can see it's covered using this, um, 
DIY cover using PVC pipes and a net. I'm thinking of making something like that for my Asian arowana tank. There's a few ranchus here. These are a pretty nice size ranchu. And then take a look at this. These ones are even bigger. Look at the color on this guy. I like the white and the red together. And if we take a look outside, look at that. All these little rice fields. And if you look here, there's some koi. Again, see a bunch of yellow ones. Alright, let's take a look over there. Here's another one of those large koi ponds. These koi I don't think are as big as the ones we saw earlier. Oh, maybe these, those two are, but the rest aren't. Look at the size on those. Yeah, I wonder what kind of filtration they're using on this. So I can hear the water flowing from below. I'm not so sure how they're filtering these ponds. Maybe there's a filter underneath of this thing, this platform. It's really nice. And then here you just have a bunch of small ones. All the way over there. see a whole bunch of Japanese rice fish. Take a look at some of these red ones. They're just amazing. Look at those colors. Beside these red ones you have blue rice fish. They look white but they're actually called blue rice fish. And if we look above, above there are some of these short body rice fish and these are pretty expensive. They're more expensive than the normal rice fish. And then over here, there's two I've never seen before. Panda rice fish. It's really unique. And beside that, you have some black rice fish, which are pretty common. And then there's a tank with a few white ones over there. White ones are very popular. That's why I think there's only a few in here. Because many people buy them. And here you have two little, uh, I'm not so sure, styrofoam pond-like structures. This one's a square, rectangle, this one's a circle, with a few little rice fish in there. And then you have some tubs down below. And then over here there are some unique ones as well. This one I've never heard of. It says here, the Kuriya Brown Ume, which is clear brown plum never heard of that before but they look pretty nice to be honest and then here I think these are black ones as well and then these are long fin long fin Japanese rice fish and then there's just a few more look at these these ones are beautiful look at the fins the tails on these guys If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also, hit the red subscribe button down below if you're new to this channel. And I will see you next time.